Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make your very own ruche skirt with elastic. Once you get the hang of it, this technique is super simple and can elevate any of your handmade pieces. Stay tuned for a full tutorial ahead. Listed are a few items you might need. I will be using elastic to gather the fabric. I'm going to be using my own self-drafted skirt pattern. If you have a favorite skirt at home that you already have, you can take that and clone it and use that as your pattern. First things first is you're gonna to wanna to know the desired length of the skirt you're going to want. So if you want your skirt to be 20 inches, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your fabric you cut is significantly longer than that. I usually like to make it about double the length. So then you should cut at least 40 inches in length for your fabric. I wanted my skirt to be super long, so I wanna say that I ended up cutting a total of about 80 to 85 inches. You wanna make sure that you have enough fabric to actually gather the fabric in the end to give you that nice ruched look. It would actually be a lot easier to lay out your fabric on the floor. That way you can lay it out in its entirety instead of me how I did it on the table and I'm kind of doing it bit by bit. And I'm just gonna do the same for the back piece as well. Now, because I'm gonna have the ruching also in the front, I just folded the front piece in half and I just used this iron just to create a kind of crease so I know where to place the front elastic and make sure it's even. You can also do this with Taylor's chalk or just marking it down with pins. One piece of advice, which I forgot to do here, is to actually sew down the elastic first in the front and then pin your pieces together and then add the elastic on the sides, if that makes sense. So once you sew the elastic on the front panel, then you would go back, pin down the sides of the fabric, right sides together, and then sew down. You're gonna cut your elastic to the desired length of the skirt you're gonna want, which again will be half of the actual length of the fabric you cut. I believe I was using the 3 8 inch wide elastic. I cut a total of three even elastic pieces. So let's get to the ruching. First, I'm just gonna sew down the sides of each seam, and of course, right sides together. Then leaving just about an inch from the top, I'm gonna place the elastic on the side seam, and I'm just gonna do a stay stitch initially to keep the elastic in place. Now you're just gonna pull on the elastic, and when you release it, you can see how the gathering occurs. Now most of the time, what people will do is they'll pull on the elastic from the top and the bottom, and just sew down, making sure the bottom of the fabric is smooth. But I like to do mine's a little different. Now what I actually do is I'll pull on the elastic and then as I release the elastic back to its original length, I'll bring the fabric with it and then I'll sew. In order to keep it even, I like to pull in small intervals. I personally like to do it this way because I love a more gathered look and I feel like this way just achieves it a lot better. I would say I would grab the elastic about 1.5 inches from the needle and then pull it another 1.5 inches further out, creating about a three inch pull, doubling the elastic. So every time I pull, I'm just grabbing the fabric and also gathering it as you can see in the video. Hopefully that makes sense. And I'll repeat this process all the way to the bottom of the skirt. This is how the ruching will look when you're done. Next, we're just gonna have to add a waistband, which I'll show you next and you're just gonna hem the bottom of the skirt. So I just cut my elastic band around 80% of the waist that I have on the actual skirt itself. You just wanna make sure that your elastic band is slightly smaller. Then I'm just gonna mark each corner, making sure it's even for the sides and the middle and back. Attaching this elastic, you're gonna wanna attach it to the wrong side of your fabric. And I'm just gonna match up the front, back, and side seams. Again, your elastic band will be slightly smaller than the waist, but when you're sewing it down, you're gonna pull at it slightly to make sure it's even. This will provide a nice snug fit. So I'm just placing the elastic again on the wrong side and I'm just gonna do a zigzag stitch all throughout the waistband first. 
slightly pulling at the elastic band while I'm sewing. Now to hide that elastic, I'm just going to fold over twice and again I'm just going to do another zigzag stitch. Just slightly pulling the elastic again just to make sure the fabric is smooth. Next you're just going to hem the bottom of the fabric as well and you are finished. I love how this turned out. It's super long. If you enjoyed this video, then please do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in my next video.